So now that you have your concert set up, we're ready for step five. Now if you look at your concert, you'll notice to the left we have a drop down menu. And these are all the attributes that are going to be tied to the concert. So you have your roster, your schedule, your repertoire, your practice files or parts, notes, uh, email, which would be you can send emails out to your musicians um, that are only playing that concert and a to-do list. So you can do this in any order. What most people do is they'll start with their schedule first. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. And we're going to click on that and it will take you to the schedule window here. Now um, you can do this one event at a time. So you know we can set a, a date here. Or I'm going to show you a quick way to make this kind of faster. And we're going to use the repeat event function to do that with. Um, so let's say for example we have a concert that's in October. It starts on a Monday, ends on a Saturday. We have a Monday rehearsal, a Tuesday rehearsal, nothing on Wednesday, dress rehearsal on Thursday with our concert on Friday and Saturday. Um, so uh, our title window here is going to autofill to the concert name. You can change this to whatever you want to. And I just, I'm going to go ahead and add rehearsal because as we repeat this, it's going to repeat everything. And most of the things are going to be rehearsals anyway. Um, so the second row here, you're going to notice we have a, these are kind of views you can set up. It defaults to public view. I'm just going to leave that to public view for now. This would be a list of our seasons that we've created, you know, over, over the years. This is always going to be the concerts that are tied to that season and a calendar type. Uh, now, the, the package comes with two calendar types, a concert and rehearsal. You can add more to this. We're going to talk about that in another video. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and set this up as a rehearsal. And then we have our date. And it's going to be October. So let's say we start on the 5th. We'll end it on the 10th, which we'll do on our repeated event. And we're going to set up our time. So let's say we start something at 7.30, and then it ends at 2. And next we're going to have our location. You can leave this blank if you want. Um, you can put in all sorts of information, the address, city, state, and zip. Um, and then our rehearsal schedule. This is going to be really important for your musicians on the other side. Uh, let's say, for example, at 7.30 to 8, um, we're going to rehearse the overture. And then let's say from 8 to 8.45, we're going to rehearse the concerto. And then from 8.45 to 9, we're going to have a break. And you can continue this out in detail and, and any other notes that you might want to put. Uh, that will be attributed just to that date. Okay, so I think we have everything set up and then we're gonna repeat the events. We're gonna go every day. We start on Monday the 5th and we're gonna to go to the 10th. We'll save it. And then you can see I've got my six events that, that repeated every day. Now remember I said Wednesday we don't have anything, so I'm gonna delete that event. You always double click that little icon there to delete. And then let's see our Monday. Um, you can go in and add notes to all these rehearsal schedule. I'm just going to leave that alone for now. And so here's our Monday, our Tuesday. Thursday was our dress rehearsal. We'll put dress rehearsal on that one. Update it. And then on our Friday, this was our concert. And then I'm going to change this to concert. And then um, let's say the concert's a different time. Let's say it starts at 8. And goes to 10. So update that one. And this will also be a concert. It starts at 8 and goes to 10. Update. And now we have our concert set up. So it's pretty simple. Um, if you want to delete you know, a concert, you can do it from here. Uh, you can also do, like, you want to delete the entire thing. Um, it has this, if you go to edit function, it says delete all future events. So starting with this particular date into the future, it will delete all of those events. So if I go back, to, uh, my list is down here at the bottom. So if I were, for example, everything wanted to stay the same, but I just wanted to delete my concerts, I'd go edit here, delete all future events. It would do that. Um, and you can delete one uh, event at a time, either by going into edit mode and deleting it here, or delete it in the list right there. Uh, so that's pretty much how you do your, your schedule.